Take one. <laughs> We're doing it. Okay. <laughs> it's this gonna is what? This is what? Wait. First, roll the uh, intro. So. Yeah, that's, was that's, that cool? Sure. Yeah. That was pretty epic. Okay. Anyway, so welcome. Finally doing it. Now, this is the first YouTube video. Basically, what I want to do with these or how we're gonna start is just take you through my workout. So we're gonna get warmed up and then we're gonna get right into it. It's uh, back and biceps day today. So we're gonna start on the bike. Okay, so we're starting off with Penley Rose. Um, Ryan's doing this workout with me too, but he's just gonna be holding the camera. So thank you, Ryan. You um, we're doing Penley Rose, so that's, and I'm gonna do it off the floor. So the key here is just to keep your back straight. So you really wanna keep your lower back straight, otherwise there's gonna be a lot of stress put on your back. Um, it's almost going to feel like you're almost like sticking your butt out to keep your back straight. So you kind of get a wide base and then when there's weight on the bar, the bar will be higher up so you don't have to bend down quite as far. But we're coming down and then we're pulling it to your chest and then back down. Um, I'm doing everything. This is the first time I've done set uh, five by five. So I'm doing everything five by five this time. Um, and then I, once I can do that, I do five by six, and then five by seven, and then once I get five by seven, I up the weight and go down each day. So today, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll look, we'll see. <coughs> yeah. Okay. So, second exercise is one arm dumbbell rows. The only thing I have, the pep peeve with these, is you see people do this, like they're trying to start a lawnmower, where you're, when you do it like that, you're not working your back. I mean, you are working your back a little bit, but you're using momentum. So you're, you're winding up your core and firing your entire body and your legs and everything to get that weight up. So not, not only are you not really working your back that much on the way up, but you're letting the weight fall back down. And so you're not working your lat on the way down. So slow and controlled, up, hold for a second, then come down. The last back exercises, we're doing a superset. So we're doing shrugs with a dumbbell straight up and down. I don't like to roll. I, maybe it's not bad, I don't know, but I just like doing it straight up and down. Uh, straight to lat flies. Question I don't know what you call it. The one where you'll see. So we're doing that first with the lat flies. You keep your arms relatively straight, slight bend. And you're pulling down like this, really squeezing your back, squeezing your lat. So now that we're done, hold on. Now that we're done with the back. So you always want to start with main compound movements and work your way down to the smaller muscles. So when you're pulling, you're working your back and your biceps. So you're gonna start with everything that works your back and then you're gonna finish with the biceps because they're smaller. If you start with the biceps and then do your back, your biceps are gonna give out and not let you go quite as heavy on those compound movements. So now we're doing biceps, so we're just gonna do five by five normal bicep curls. I personally, I mean, you want to switch it up and do all different, you know, work your muscles in all different types of ways. But right now, I'm doing starting with my hands, uh, or my, I guess my thumbs pointing forwards, and then rotating on the way up and on the way down. I try and squeeze that rotation the whole way down because your bicep, I think I've said it before, but your bicep not only um, flexes the elbow, but it's also responsible for supinating the wrist. I mean, you can see it, hopefully, just turning as you turn your hand. So we want to do a combination of both. So that's what we're doing next. Okay. Last exercise, we're going to do creature curls. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, creature curls, one arm with a dumbbell. Um, we're trying to work the bicep in different ways. So you kind of get a good balance of your entire bicep when you're standing. When you use the preacher curl to the bench, you're getting your arm out in front of you which is gonna make it much harder for this starting position to bring it up. Now it's gonna be easier up here because the weight can kind of just rest and just kind of sit here. Your elbow is kind of taking the weight, but as you get down here, it's gonna be much harder on this front portion of your bicep. So that's what we're really gonna focus on and still supinating the wrist as we come down.
So I realize this isn't like a ton of weight, but I felt that in my lower back. So we're going with the belt this time. That's it for the workout. So we're done with our back and biceps. Now we have to stretch. Um, stretching is so undervalued, I feel like. You need to be able to stretch because if you just keep working your biceps, getting stronger and stronger and stronger without stretching, your biceps gonna get tighter and tighter and tighter. And eventually when you're at that fully extended range of motion, something bad is gonna happen. Uh, you wanna be strong in the full range of motion, but also flexible through the full range of motion, which is why we stretch. So we're gonna stretch our back first. Um, really any pulling motion, I like to do it with the bar on the rack. So I have both my hands here. I'm pulling, let's see. I'm pulling back like this and then I'm shifting my hips to one side to lengthen this so I can feel it on that side in my lat. So I'm gonna do that, hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds and then go to the other side. Last one is stretching the biceps. Um, they're hard to stretch, but the way I do it is I have my arm on the wall my palm or my fingers facing down and then I twist my body away from the wall and I can feel it through my whole bicep. Oh my god, I need to move. Oh my god, dude, how do you do that? Um, it's kind of like, I mean, I don't know. This is how I feel it, this is how I stretch it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. That's it for today. That's my whole day, so back and biceps. Um, next we're gonna get our push day, chest, triceps, shoulders, so that'll be the next video. Um, so. Keep a look out for that. I don't know how to end this, so we're just so gonna... See you next time, because we work at Quick Trip. See you next time. No, I don't know how to end it, so we're just gonna throw the intro in. So do that again, okay. Dude, how do you do this? <laughs> like... You gotta... Oh my god. You work your way into it. Yeah, I... I don't know, this is... I feel this more in my chest now. Am I doing it right still? What?